Hey guys, this is Brandon, and welcome to Boundless Beyond! So today we're going to be taking a tour of Cairo, the capital of the Arab Republic of Egypt. I am an English and history teacher when I'm not vlogging and I'm taking my students on a tour of the city as we come to a wrap at the end of the school year. We're going to start out with a tour of the pyramids, the Great Pyramids of Giza, the most famous site in all of Egypt and the only remaining uh, ancient wonder of the world. And we're going to see the Sphinx as well, which I'm really stoked to show you guys. Uh, we're also going to go to some Islamic sites in the center of Cairo that were built in like the 1300s, including a madrasa and a mosque. We're also going to try some delicious Egyptian food like koshari, the national dish of Egypt. If you've never heard of it, I'm going to show you what it's made out of and we're going to taste it. Unique, it's just a giant bowl of carbs. Uh, I think you guys are going to really like it. And then we're going to wrap up our trip today with a tour of the Nile on a felucca at sunset. A felucca is a traditional Egyptian boat. It's just going to be really chill and enjoyable and I wanted to treat my students to something really special and truly Egyptian as we come to the end of the year. So join us on our trip today. Okay, so here is the panorama viewpoint of the pyramids at Giza. One of the common misconceptions is that they were built by slaves. They were actually built by the ancient Egyptians themselves in a modified form of a taxation system. So during the flooding season when they couldn't plant crops or reap their crops, they would actually come and pay their taxes by working here in a makeshift city to build these massive tombs for the pharaoh. So this is Mr. Ahmed. He is one of the top tour guides in all of Egypt, and he actually has a nickname. It's Al Ustaz, oh. which means the professor. Oh, thank right? you, Mr. Yeah. Brandon. You yeah. are the Ustaz. No, no, no. You no, are no. The Ustaz. So, so tell us, how, how long did you have to study to become a professional tour guide here in Egypt? Uh, actually, I am uh, graduated from the Cairo University, from Faculty of Archaeology, and I work it in the uh, archaeology field as well. I work it here in the pyramids area, wow. and uh, that's my passion actually to um, to be an archaeologist in general, not only in the Egyptology field. I like meeting people. I like explaining about Egypt and about the history of Egypt. Uh, yeah. So that's also uh, some part of the job that I like. I like yeah. to know people. I like to see the world through the eyes of the other people because I didn't travel outside of Egypt. Yeah. So I consider this like a kind of traveling yeah. to see people from different parts of the world. So here at the Sphinx you can actually see uh, the Sphinx right here and then the pyramids over here and uh, the Sphinx is a lot smaller than you would expect it to be and uh, even though the pyramids are so much bigger so it's really impressive nonetheless and it's definitely a must-see uh, it's kind of otherworldly for sure for lunch we got shawarma which uh, for those of you who aren't familiar you might be familiar with uh, El Pastor, the Mexican dish, which, fun fact, was actually uh, a cuisine that was brought over by Lebanese immigrants to Mexico. And uh, just like El Pastor, it is uh, meat uh, piled up on a spit and is cut off um, by the chef and grilled with different spices and uh, then wrapped up in a piece of flatbread and with uh, mayonnaise usually and pickles here in Egypt. And uh, it is absolutely delicious so I'm gonna take a bite mm. oh man that is so good the bread just like locks in the juices of the chicken and the spices and it's just a really great quick meal to have when you're on the road or when you're walking around town 
and it's also pretty cheap. So when you're in Egypt, you gotta have some shawarma. So I'm here at the madrasa and mosque of Sultan Hassan. He was the ruler of Caliphate Egypt in uh, the 1300s and he built this beautiful madrasa which is an Islamic school uh, here in Cairo and it's a wonderful place to visit. It's actually four different madrasas, four different iwans what they're called inside a huge courtyard with a massive fountain in the middle and uh, each one of the iwans was dedicated to a different school of Islamic philosophy and uh, it is just breathtaking. Uh, for those who haven't visited a mosque or an Islamic holy site before, they're actually not that difficult to visit and it's not as uh, scary as you might think if you haven't been to one before. All you have to do is take off your shoes when you come inside and make sure that you wear modest dress like you would in a cathedral in Europe and uh, then you just walk inside and see uh, the beauty that is Islamic architecture. Okay, so I'm about to have some kushari, which is the national dish of Egypt. It is literally a bowl of carbs. It's a bowl of macaroni and spaghetti and lentils and chickpeas with this delicious tomato and garlic sauce and then a hot sauce on top with some vinegar and oh and rice, I forgot about rice. But uh, it is really good, it's really cheap and it's, it can be really hot too. So downstairs all the way on the bottom floor there's this huge like open air kitchen where they're constantly filling bowls of kushari which costs uh, like 50 cents to eat and that's at a sit-down restaurant so on the street it's even cheaper and this is what uh, Egyptians want to eat when they're really missing home. So again, to my American viewers who uh, are afraid to come to the Middle East, they got soul food. So, what more could you want? So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. Okay, so we're going to be ending our day on a traditional felucca ride, which is, the felucca is a ship that's existed on the Nile for hundreds of years. Thousands of years? Thousands of years. Uh, and uh, it still plies the, the Nile up and down uh, every day. And uh, we've hired one out to watch the sunset over the city of Cairo. Uh, and uh, yeah, so just going to enjoy the sunset on a felucca. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's tour of Cairo. We got to see so much and got to end with a beautiful sunset. Join me again next time at Boundless Beyond. And as always, I hope you find adventure in everything you do. See ya. <laughs>Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boundless Beyond. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. And if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe below and you can get my content as soon as it comes out. I'd also love to hear from you in the comment section. So if there's a place you'd like me to check out or some sort of activity that I should do when I'm in my next spot, I would really love to know about it from you guys and provide you with the content that you want. I'll see you guys next time.